Hi guys, so I am about to get my senior pictures taken, actually not about, but in a couple hours, and so I thought I would film my getting ready process. I have zero makeup on, I know I'm not wearing my hair like this, I just have it put back so I can do my makeup, but I thought I would show you um, what I'm going to do. Let me grab my little mirror so I can see what I'm doing. Okay, so I have my whole face um, already, I really just cover up. And powder. I powder my face. Okay, so next up, I'm going to do my eyes first. I'm going to take my ELF all over collar stick and I'm going to prime my eyelids. It's kind of weird not having music because I always listen to music when I do my makeup. Okay, so I also did under my eyelids a little bit because I will be using color down there. Okay, so next I'm going to use this palette that I use all the time. Like, and when I say all the time, I literally mean all the time. It's almost gone and I'm so sad. Okay, so now I'm going to take my angled um, brush. It's a little thicker than most. And I'm going to use just like a light pink color and then the skin tone. And I'm going to mix them together. This is just going to be my all over eye color. Okay, so next I am going to take, um, what am I going to take? I'm going to take this little, it's like a flat, um, just a flat skinny rounded brush. And I am going to take, it's like a gray purple color. Oh, that's the other color that I'm going to use. It is this color it's a little dust on it this color and it is um volcano and i'm just going to take my little brush and i'm going to put that in my crease And you can really use any colors that you have. Any, like, two colors that you think are going to go together. Um, let me shade that in a little better. And then I'm going to take this brown color. It is called Mochaccino. And I'm just going to shade that in as well. Over top of the grayish color. And I'm going to bring it under my eye. Now I'm going to take my, let's see, waterproof eye pen liner from ELF. Now I'm out of my other liquid liner, which I actually liked a lot better than this. Um, and I don't want to use like a mousse liquid because I really like that like really distinct line. So I'm going to just use this. And this is not my favorite, but that's okay. It'll do the job. do under my waterline to about maybe a little bit above a quarter make sure good leave the corner spots okay so that's my one eyeliner side now I'm going to do the other side okay so that's my liner Okay, so that's that. I have my liner done, and now I'm just going to curl my eyelashes and apply mascara, and then I will come back to show you my contouring. Okay, see you soon. Okay, so my eyes are done, I think, for the most part. I might want to curl my eyelashes one more time. Um, okay, so now I'm going to do some contouring. Now for contouring, I might do this a little different than some people, so if you don't like it, you can stick with your other routines, but this is how I do it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take just a flat brush, a little eye brush, and I'm going to take this Clinique and this brown, and it is called down to earth I guess it's older um but I think you could probably find a similar color it's a matte color and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this and draw like a line like this now I know it looks kind of funny and I'm going to shade it in so don't worry 
and then I'm going to take it again and do it on the other side. Okay, so these are going to be my lines of contouring. And then I'm also going to do my temples right there. And these are all the places that naturally are shaded. Now, I know, I look kind of silly, right? But now I'm going to take an angled brush like this. And it should be thinner. It shouldn't be a thick one because I find if I use a thick one, it just like smears the color everywhere. And that's not really what I want. So I'm just going to take this in circles and work it in, kind of get that hair out of the way, and work it in. And I want it to create a shadow, but I don't want it to be like a distinct line. Yeah, that's better. All right, now I'm gonna do this side. And now I'm gonna do my temples. And I also forgot to do like the inner part of my nose but I will do that quickly like these parts of my nose, the sides of my nose, the inner part of my nose that doesn't make sense so I'll just do the sides of my nose and just really work that one in because you don't want that looking funky might have put a little too much on that now you can use your fingers too because sometimes that works better okay so that's good I think I keep losing my mirror okay so now I am fairly I think worked in so that kind of like shapes your face and I think because I have such a round face that this really works um, on camera, hopefully. That's what I'm hoping. Okay, so next I'm just going to a apply, um, I'm going to get some pink blush just for the apples of my cheeks. And I'm just going to use a fluffy brush for that, like a fluffy round brush. So now I have my cheeks done. Um, I have my shading, I have virtually every, ooh, eyebrows, that's what I didn't do. I knew I was forgetting something. Oh. Okay, so now I'm going to take, that is not the color I usually use. I'm losing my mind, guys. Okay, now I'm going to take this dark color. It is a matte color, um, it doesn't say what color it is. It's from Lancome, um, so yeah, I'm just going to take that and I'm going to take an angled thin brush and I'm going to do my eyebrows. Um. So that is pretty much my makeup look. Um, I have to do my hair. Um, I can't decide, curly or straight, I'm not sure which. So, I hope this works. This would actually work really well for, like, picture day, um, and stuff like that. And I could even, like, contour my cheeks a little more, because they're not very contoured right now. But I think I like them the way they are, because I don't want them to look like I have dirt on my skin or something, which is kind of, it's like a tricky balance in between the two. So, this is actually, I'm getting my senior pictures done, and then I'll have picture day again, but... Um, for school, because this isn't for school, but um, this will work well for school. So this is my look. I hope you guys like it, and I'll be seeing you soon. Okay, bye. Okay, so hi guys. Oh, I have a little piece right there. Okay, so I just finished everything for my um, senior photos. I curled my hair. Um, I don't know what I'm thinking. I kind of like it. I kind of almost wish I had gone with straight hair. So... I guess I'll have to see. Um, thank goodness my pictures got pushed back. Um, so it's now at 6 instead of 5, which is actually good because um, I wasn't really ready yet. So, um, yeah, if you want to know how I get my hair curly, I kind of tried some different techniques this time, which I actually like a lot better. So let me know if you want to hear about them, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.